Hello Libra and welcome to your this is Libra, right? Yeah, this is Libra. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to your mid-February to March reading of this current year. This is for the sign of Libra and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm sick, so don't mind me. I might be a little bit hallucinational, right? But it works. Anyway. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Libra. So check your charts if this resonates with you. Cool. If not, you just dupe your nose. Away it goes. No point worried about shit that ain't nothing to do with you. Ain't know your damn business unless you nosy like we all are. And we just wanna know. <coughs> That's fine. I deserve that. Anyway, Libra. So first off, this is like, this sounds a lot like my dad, right? My father is a Libra. And I can feel his fucking voice his words in my head and, and like telling me you know like well 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 faith faith and you just you don't understand yet you, you ain't listening to nothing like look look here listen you know that's my father he's a libra <laughs> and libras and cross watchers i feel like someone does not want to admit that they are wrong <coughs> Sorry, I had to go get my coffee. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Come on to this Keurig Folgers Black Silk Coffees. Shit's fucking magically delicious, right? There we go. You can drip on that. There. I stir you to make my coffee sweeter. But yeah, like, I, I that's why, I, I don't know, it just, it makes me, it reminds me of my dad, he's a pastor, and like, you know, he's, I don't know what got him to be super religious as a kid. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea, because he was, like, I hate to say it, but he was a better dad when he was a sinner than he was as a pastor. And it's like, ever since he just became this person who thinks he knows everything, but in this, it's almost like the person who feels like they know everything, Libra and Crosswatcher, um, is coming to a realization that, like, you know, their principles, their morals, their fucking ethics are meaningless in regards to somebody else's perspective, which is just like, like, oh my god, it, that, like, that, it, it's funny because my father is a Libra and mine and his relationship are in here and it's just kind of like, Jesus Christ. Like, I can only see how this is gonna go. I don't know. Libra, you're kind of, like, strange. But that's why I like you. You're, like, the lighthearted, fun person. But Lord forbid if someone tries to tell you about yourself. Ooh. Especially my dad. He has a temper. Alright. So the reason why I'm basically saying that, you know, like, someone doesn't know what I meant to be wrong, we got the Hermit Reverse, right? And when I first saw this card, I thought this was a dude wearing one of those umbrella hats on his head. I was just like, that's a, such a Virgo thing to do. Thorgo would totally wear something like that, but then it was like, oh, no, 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 he's gaining access to the universe. My bad, but here it's like someone's trying to avoid the universe's words or intuition or truth. Not really, I feel like, trying to look inside for an answer about a commitment issue that they have, possibly with a Taurus, if you will, or maybe just the religious aspect we see here, right? In the situation, someone is trying to avoid the tower, I'm not entirely sure what is the tower in this, actually. But reverse, it looks like two people are trying to fly somewhere. Opposite directions, right? Like, almost like try to get away from each other in order to get out of this cold situation. But it's like, these two people who are flying away from each other are literally like following each other. Kind of like one setting the example and the other one's just following the path because they're blind, deaf, and mute. You know, maybe somebody like decided to shove like the blind, deaf, and mute dude with the bell around his neck in a ditch and just run for it, right? But you know, much like Kitty and the cat came back, it didn't stay away. It was sitting on the porch the very next day. The cat came back, it didn't wanna roll. <laughs> <coughs> 
<clears throat> the very next day I was home, sweet home. <clears throat> it's like if there was a tower of moment that was to be avoided by getting rid of someone's kitty, per se, as a metaphor, the cat came back to the house. Like it just came the right the fuck back. It's just like, why the fuck? Like, I threw you in a ditch and a, I, I tied you in a plastic bag and threw you in the trash. That was supposed to be the end of it. And then Kitty's like, Meow. Damn you, Kitty! You know, like, shit like that, right? Wants and wishes, Libras and Crosswatchers. I feel like someone left dramatically after a situation. Like, cups were knocked over. This bitch is kind of walking away with, like, her fucking gown tucked into her ass cheeks. Why, I don't know, but it was whatever, but she's just leaving. The other person's sitting there begging to stay, and, and it's like, it was almost like a dramatic exit. It's being like, fuck you! You know, like, it, it, like, someone went out of their way to make it as, like, dramatic as possible, I guess? Which is weird, because it's like, both of these people are just kind of sitting around. One's just laying there, wondering, like, what the fuck? The other person's like, I got, I, uh, whatever. But it was really dramatic, the way that it went down. The obstacles and challenges. Which is weird, because it's just like, why is the wants and wishes to leave with dramatic results, but make it look all nonchalant and shit? That, that makes no sense to me. It's like, someone left, it was in a really dramatic way, but now they got like this... Mmm. Animosity, I will say. I, I've done, I, like, there, this is like... I linked another video to that animosity video I did, like, last year, I think it was. It's like, anytime I mention that word, look up that video animosity and you'll get the message, because that's usually what it fits. Like, this is a feeling of animosity, but it's like, towards the person, but I don't know if it's towards the person they left, or if it's towards the person that got left. I can't tell. In the obstacles and challenges, Knight of Cups, he's running in. He's got some furious energy. He wants to get that battery and get it going, going, going towards this not doing the tower so two people can avoid it. It's not going to work. We've got the three of pentacles right here. He's trying to run in with the three of pentacles. Make the two of pentacles with this person. Like, if these were combined, they'd make eight. Sure. Oh wait, yeah, that only be the eight of pen that would be the eight of pentacles reverse. So that means it still wouldn't work. If the three of pentacles was upright, I would say even with the five of pentacles, it would be the two of pentacles reverse. If the five of pentacles were upright, then it would be the two of pentacles upright, which means that there would be kind of a chance. But it's not. It's like it's gonna ride in, and then it's gonna be like, oh well, this shit just doesn't fucking work. Fuck! I I, I came in all bravado and shit, right? And I feel like it's because they forgot that they, like, they and the other person tried to flee from each other, but ended up just following each other's footsteps regardless. <laughs> Fears and rejections. Not starting something. Not putting the ignition switch in the kitchen. Mama fresh out the... And witching. Mama rolling that... Flower... Because all the kids would be bitching. They're all hungry. And, ah, uh, mom, when I'm gonna thaw out some turkey nuggets. Because I'm really hungry. And, yeah, I don't know. That was a terrible freestyle. But it's whatever. <laughs> it's like something didn't start. And someone's looking at how it's been invested. Like, how it's gone about. It's like, why is this not happening? You know? Like, I have literally put in all sorts of chicken and ignitions and switching the kitchens and bitchins and chicken niggins and I don't fucking know. Why is this shit not starting? It's like someone's got a fear with that. It, or, you know, it's not even a fear. It's like a rejection and it's stemming towards a little bit more anger. You know, animosity. You know, that's what I'm picking up. It's that animosity video again. Like, there's something about the word animosity. And I don't know what it is, but whenever it pops up, it's like, it's significant. And I don't know why. Alright, how this shit starts, how it'll end. There is a victory here, Libra and Cross Watchers alike. But it requires an investment. Which I feel like is actually the missing piece. I think you guys actually have to give somebody credit in order to get whatever it is you needed started started but it's like rejection is leading to anger and animosity and over here is the seven of pentacles again but this time the fruit's not being born it's like all dying in the ground it's like whatever was invested rotted 
is not growing. It's not developing. Like it's like a, it's like. Hmm. It's almost like someone's trying to get their inspiration to inspire them. Instead of being inspired. Like, you know, the, the fruit down below... ...does not plant the person to make them grow. The person plants the fruit. So it's kind of like someone went backwards with how they were going to develop the fruit, and now it's not growing. And now they're just sitting there looking at it like, what the fuck? Like, why is this not working? I don't understand. I, I followed all the steps and such. And it's just like someone has to admit they're wrong. That's, that's the title of your video, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, which, you know, Libra, you really don't have a problem being taught when something wrong happens. But it's like when you're really convicted, but that conviction you guys carry, like, that conviction... Conviction is really scary to me because, like, you know, when you have a conviction, anything can be up for uh, crusade purposes, you know? Because you guys, when you, when you have your faith in something, like, nothing will shake that shit. And it's kind of terrifying how much faith you guys have. But it's weird because you guys don't believe in luck either. I, I, almost every Libra I've ever met doesn't believe in luck. But they have the most incredible luck I've ever seen anybody fucking have. You know, like, ever. <laughs> so, let's see. The Hermit Reverse with the Hierophant. Someone isn't paying attention to this sort of commitment right here. It could either even deal with God and shit, too. There might have been a lover situation where everyone thing was all happy and sparksy. And then it was like, oh, no, 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 no. and then, like, there's an animal and shit. <laughs> mm. That's creepy. Did you guys, like, end did somebody end up falling in love with, like, their fucking worst enemy? Like, now they gotta protect their family and shit from the person they let inside? That's crazy. Virgo's was almost like that, but not really. Virgo, basically, their video was summed up as a metaphor of, like, you could either, like, try to medicate some really nasty lice hair, or you can just shave the shit off and start fresh and new. It's up to you, but you're just gonna have to figure out which method of suffering and madness would be better. Would you like to suffer a little bit, or do you want to keep trying to work on this shit to see if you can fix your hair? Which, you know, if it came to lice, I'd probably just shave my fucking head. I wouldn't give it two dams. Well, I don't know. I'd probably get a... Well, I'd get a wig to replace it or something, because, like, I'm not gonna go around bald-headed. That shit's gonna itch like a motherfucker, though. Mm. Anyway, the tower reversed with the five of pentacles reversed as well. Avoiding the tower... Just, I feel like so separate from everyone, but you guys are just following each other regardless, you know? You need to intuition. Someone needs to uh, tap into intuition. Possibly Pisces. And either try to heal or communicate from this. That's like two major... That, that's two major arcanas right there. It's like there's somebody like who is separated. Like, what, whatever happened, Libra and Crosswatcher... You guys are separated from each other, but you're still, like, following each other around or some shit, right? And it's like, your intuition might be telling you that you might have to actually, like, talk or deal with this person at some point. Let's see. One more. Yeah, there are options with this. You just gotta figure out which way to go. It's Yeah, it's almost like you guys are following each other, whoever this person is. It's like one's trying to lead the way by, like... I don't know, like being a voice in your head right over your shoulder while you're trying to look and see what to do. It's like one of the two of you, or maybe both of you are doing this, or leading each other to the same path, I guess? Yeah, secrets. Definitely could be Pisces involved here with the moon and shit. But really, like, trying to escape from emotions. Again, like, I don't feel anything from this. I'm I need to go somewhere. They're all spilt and it's not my fault looking for new love right here outside of what made you you, I feel like, with the Six of Cups. Maybe there was somebody from your past you separated from? But then it's like, you know, if this is from the past, what the fuck is this right here? 
Like, who attacked... Like, if y'all were lovers, who attacked who? And why did they go after the one with the kids that they had to protect? Like, that's so fucking weird. It's like... Hmm. Well, whatever. But it's like one of y'all turned into a turncoat. Either you or the person you were dealing with, Libras and Crosswatchers. But someone went turncoat. Someone switched it up a bit and it's like... Didn't I say that about somebody else? Like, what was it? Wrong favorite person. That was Cancer. That's their title. Wrong favorite person, I remember, because it's like... It, like, that's what this kind of reminds me of. It's like, it's almost like you went for somebody... Or maybe they went for somebody who looked good, and then in return, later on, they became like this bastard badger weasel thing that just comes in trying to eat your kids. Wants and wishes, you know, someone was looking for a reason to stick around when it came to this dramatic, undramatic, animosity-like exit, right? Like, someone was looking for a reason to stick around. Oh, definitely could be cancer involved here. Also, uh, Scorpio or Pisces, once again. Uh, Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah. Yeah, animosity for sure, dude. I won't say it's the same person because that's not the point. The point is, I've made a video called Animosity, and that video describes this kind of shit right here. It's like, mmm. It's like the person, it's like whoever was trying to stick around for whatever reason was doing so based on the fact that they should be worshipped almost. Because with this Queen of Cups right here, all these animals are coming up to the surface to make her flow. But it's like, then she demands more of them. And then she demands a trampoline and a venti Starbucks mocha frappe or whatever the fuck that thing's called. And maybe some weed and shit, right? Like, she's overbearing, overdemanded. She's very, very highly sensitive. And I feel downright just annoying with her demands, too. Let's see. Knight of Cups with the Three of Pentacles reverse. This obstacles and challenge. Trying to ride in with the cup, but it ain't fucking going to work. Nope, nope, nope. Someone needs to learn how to be happy with them fucking selves. Or they need to work on themselves. One of the two. Like, they're trying to work with a bunch of people, but... It's like, they need to learn how to deal with their own shit. Oh, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Those two came together, fuck it. Um, yeah, it's like, if there's an Earth sign involved, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They are very stable by themselves. And I almost feel like either you or them don't see that this person... As someone to be obsessed over, like, look, this bitch has her legs underneath this dude's ass so he can't get away from her, right? But now this person's like, you know, you have some really nasty breath. Could you go brush your teeth just for ten seconds? Oh, but I want to stay with you. Ah, uh, bitch, that doesn't mean I want to stay nearly passed out either. So go brush your teeth, you know? So it doesn't work as, like, possibly as Queen of Pentacles is happy by herself and she just doesn't see the relationship the way it used to. Could be a dude too, but she's there and, and you know, whatever. But we also got a Queen of Cups up here who's like animosity plus like a desire to be worshipped. Fears and rejections over here with how this shark is. How the shark. Shark. <laughs> how this shit didn't start and why you're looking over why it didn't despite your investments in it. Um, huh. Something did start. Or something was meant to start. This new beginning. Ace of Wands again. Ah! The tower reversed? Was this new start avoided because of the tower reverse? Or did someone replace this new start with a different start by the tower reverse? Because it's like... 
Or is it like, even if you did start something new, you're still just avoiding the tower, regardless. You're still avoiding the lesson that needs to be learned. That should start till end. A victory if you offer some shit. Or go for the door, whichever one you want to do. I feel like I haven't talked at all, and I might not have, so I'm sorry. But, I don't know, I just spaced out for a second. Anyway. Yeah, um... Might be running because you don't want those emotions, or someone ran away because they didn't want that offer. And now they got their guard up. They don't have the feelings anymore, and they got their guard up. They're just like, ting! What, what the fuck you bringing, bro? Is it pizza? Or is it paparazzi? Because I don't do pictures, and I'm a hungry bitch, and I mean when I'm hungry. <laughs> you know? Like, um... Libra or Cross Archer, you might be doing just fine, and this person wants to come in and give a victory to you, or this could be you. But it's like they're guarded and shit, yeah. Um, something here is whack in the house, for sure. You got the Ten of Pentacles reversed, and then the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Some, uh, something didn't start correctly, or end correctly. Some, like, home kind of situation, right? Oh, thank you, coffee. You're my only friend. <laughs> Let's see. So, with the energy, feeling like you were betrayed by somebody you were in love with. Or maybe they feel that way about you. Who knows? Someone turned. Um, and this was the stall some action. You might have stuck around because, like, you know, you wanted to be a good person and help them out, but you really weren't helping as much as you were enabling them. Ooh, it might be time to go. It might be time to go. Yeah. Libra, I feel like you might have been wrong about somebody. And they turned on you. Or this is how they feel about you. One of the two. Down below in the situation where it's like... Someone needs to use your intuition and figure out how they're going to talk to somebody. Maybe, like, speak to a guide, get advice from people, I feel like. Because there's no more excuses to not do this anymore. What the fuck? Okay. The door is still open when people are getting ready to go. Hmm. Might be have something to do with divide timing. You know. Three seconds left on the clock. Ugh. You know, shit like that. Hmm. Which is weird, because, like, this person's getting ready to go. Like, did you meet new people, or did somebody else meet new people, and that's why they're leaving? Alright. Wants and wishes. Wanting to stick around, but just to be glorified with your animosity. Sure, that'll work. It'll work. Put a lot of effort into that shit. Pretty proud of it, you know? Oh, but that ninth pentacle is a bug. Infestation. Pests. If you will. Oof. Obstacles and challenges? Yeah, and we got the Nine of Pentacles down here. It's like... That Ninth Pentacle is not... Cool. Uh, small book. Someone should listen to people, but they didn't. Possibly about a Capricorn or just the temptations that was coming about. Maybe somebody warned you about this pairing, right? Um, you wanted to fly some truth to somebody because even in the back of your head, possibly, or the back of their heads, they knew exactly what was going to happen, but they didn't want to believe it, I feel like. That might have been the infection. Maybe somebody spoke something to you, or they spoke to them, they didn't like it, and decided, you know what, fuck it, I'm not listening, I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want, and now it's like, oops. Maybe that's the animosity. It's the pride that's getting to them, you know? And they could say whatever, but they're just not going to. Obstacles and challenges. Someone's happy by themselves. They're stable. And they don't see anything good with this partnership down here, right? Yeah, this shit's done and over with. It's like, we're separated by... Go get drunk somewhere. Uh... Yeah, if you're dealing with a water sign, Labor and Crosswatcher, um... I think you have to separate from this person because they got a problem. Or they recognize that about you. One of the two. Put yourself wherever you want to. But whoever this queer it is, it's like, mm. It's like they can't handle the breakups and they ended up being an alcoholic. 
or some shit. Because the person was happier without them. Fears or rejections, how this new... St I feel like... I feel like, Libra and Crosswatcher, whoever this is, um... The only way to get this new start going is to deal with the tower, which is what I think you don't want to deal with, but it's like, why is, it's almost like, why is this all accumulating to this one significant point in events or time? You know, it's like, what is it, like that movie Sliding Doors with Gwyneth Paltrow? It's like, there's that one thing, that one instance, that one little piece of history is what changed everything and you're just it, it, like you or your person is just sitting there like why is it this one thing why does it have to be the one thing i really don't want to touch and it's just because because you know it's that one thing that causes it like this person is probably obsessing over that one thing whatever this is and it's just like really pissed off because they know they have to deal with this tower that's been avoided in order to get their new beginning it's like there's no other way around it you know and it keeps hitting them in the fucking face every time they try to pour the cup out. It's like, ah, I'm waterboarding myself. Fuck. You know? Ooh. It's, and that's causing them to get hit with the tower a second time. Like, they know that, uh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this, Libra and Crosswatcher. Every time they try to ignore this tower, it hits them in the face that, no, you need to go through the same shit you've been going through again, because you seem to forget that the person who you made a servant left fat and sturdy while you're still sitting there. Well, not you particularly, but the person who's in this is just sitting there watching them as they make their own fucking way. Like, they were a servant at first, and now it's just like, no, nah, I'm gonna go do something else. Like, they're taking themselves out of the cold, and, and this person's sitting there wondering, like, oh, you think you're gonna get out? We're all broke down here, man. You know, we're all broke. Maybe you were living, maybe they were living on top of the world, and then, like, this person just decided to leave, and now they're homeless and broke and trying to, and struggling, trying to get out of that shit, right? Someone needs to look inside and, and realize what the fuck this is. You know? Could be that water sign you're dealing with. You could have water in your charts. They could have water in their charts. It really doesn't matter. But there's a lot of emotion here. And I feel like someone's just not emotionally mature to know enough how to handle that shit. They need a water sign. <laughs> <coughs> they need a water sign to help calm their ass down. That shit starts at end. Somebody decided the feelings weren't worth it and they got away. Ew. King of Pentacles with the Tower Reverse. What is this? Yeah, Libra, did someone fucking prove you wrong? <laughs> Libra and Crosswatcher, or did you prove somebody wrong? Because there's stability. Someone's recognizing that somebody was actually a stable source. It took care of them, and that's when the Tower hits them again. It's like, almost like... Hmm. Damn, Lieber. And Crosswatcher. I don't know what the fuck this is, but it's like, you proved somebody wrong, or they proved you wrong, and I'm not sure which one it is, but it's like, damn. But, that's the end of the reading, so, you know. Take what you will. Hmm. Enjoyed this you can like share subscribe up to you really i greatly appreciate it i love y'all's faces and i hope this helps y'all out and thanks for watching the video i will see you guys later you have a good day bye bye